Are you guys ready? It's another mess. Here we have it. So we have all of the eye products in this little container right here. I do get a lot of questions about where I get my acrylic from. Some of them are from Marshalls. Like you'll see this one's from Marshalls. This one I think is from maybe like Target and then this is just from the kitchen section in Walmart. So they are from all over the place but first things first I'm going to empty out this entire drawer. And I had some of you guys go crazy on my last video because I laid everything out on my bed. So today we're going to lay everything out on my vanity and hopefully it won't bother you guys. So I'm going to empty out this drawer, clean it, and we're going to start going through all of the products. Okay, so here's a better look at the drawer when it's actually cleaned out and the acrylics. This is the acrylic I said I got from Marshalls and it has that really pretty silver bottom to it. So I love Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Home Goods for the acrylic organization. Also, the acrylic on top of my desk is mostly from those places as well. But let's talk about this mess right here. This is what we're going to be decluttering today. And I have a feeling it's going to be extremely hard because a lot of these products are unused. So I haven't tested them yet. So I'm not quite sure how this declutter is going to go. I really am going to try because clearly I need to because this is too much to actually utilize. And I really think that this makeup obviously deserves to get used. So... We're gonna have to work on this. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start over here. These are some brow backups from Benefit. Definitely keeping these. I wish I had a better place to store my backups, but unfortunately I don't. But I have two extra of my favorite Gimme Brow. I have a Goof Proof Pencil, a 3D Brow Tones that I haven't tried yet, and I have an extra Cabrow product. So these go in the back of this drawer, so they're just gonna go right back where they were. Also keep my alcohol and my tape in here. Tape is for my swatches on Instagram and alcohol is just to sanitize things. So that will go back in probably at the end. And we're gonna talk about beauty sponges. I keep my beauty sponges in this drawer. It makes no sense to keep them in with my eye stuff, I know. But I have a bunch of different kinds in here. I have the silly sponge, oh my god. I'm just hanging on to this because I wanna put it in a video about products I don't like because I did not like this silly sponge at all. So they just chill in this plastic organizer and something I realized is this plastic organizer from Walmart it fits oddly in here. It fits as if it's a slider. So I can keep things underneath it, like the brow products, and then just slide this out when I wanna get to some other products. It's kind of like a little hack if you guys have these drawers. But I did wanna mention this blender right here is from LA Girl. I just got it and I haven't used it yet. And it does feel like the most soft blender out of all of the non-beauty blenders. So I do wanna play around with this because it feels like it might be a significant dupe to the beauty blender or at least somewhat close so I'm excited to try that out I'm leaving my favorites towards the front and then the ones that I use for special effects towards the back these two are from Sigma and I love the Sigma ones I think this is from beauty junkies pure real techniques and I don't know where the purple one is from so let's start to talk about glitters. Glitters are some of my favorite products to use on my eyes. I have some favorites in here and I have some that I probably should let go of. So first off, the Lemonhead LA Space Jam and Space Paste products are here to stay. I've talked about these so many times on my channel. They are my favorite glitters. Here is one of the Space Jams. This is in Midnight Society. This is the one in the shade Birthday Cake. Here is Gilda Beast. This is a gold space paste. Space paste are more suitable for the eyes and space jams are meant for like body and hair. And then here is Mulholland. This is a rose gold space paste. I'm in love with this. 
I have one of the Stila Magnificent Metal Glitters. This is in the shade Diamond Dust. This is one of my all-time favorite glitters, and I need to collect them in all of the shades because I'm obsessed, and I love this for the holiday season. This is going nowhere, so I have to hold on to this. I have a feeling this whole video is going to go like this, but I love these Stila Glitters have two Tarte glitter liners. They are duo products. I use them for the glitters. I have a gold one and a rose gold one. I love these, so I'm keeping these two. I have the first product that I'm decluttering, finally. This is the NYX glitter liner in the shade Silver Crystal. This is really old. I did really like them, but now that I have a few better glitters in my collection, I don't think I need to hang on to this. It's getting pretty old and congealed, so that is the first product I'm letting go of. Three of these sparklers from Makeup Geek. I'm going to hang on to these. The packaging of these does get a little bit messy, but I like the product itself, so I will keep these. The Too Faced glitter out of the Nikki Tutorials and Too Faced collab. This is called Glitterly, so I'm going to hang on to this. It's very small and cute. Three products from NYX. I have two pigments and one glitter. All of them are kind of glittery, so I'm going to keep them in the same glitter section. This holographic glitter is called Crystal, and I've used it in a few different tutorials, and I'm obsessed with it. Four glitters from JCAT. They have really nice glitters as well, so they're going into the glitter section. I have an assortment of pigments and glitters from MAC from one of the holiday collections, and then just this random pigment. I think this is in the shade tan. I'm going to hold on to all of these because I really love them and they are some of the best pigments so I'm going to hold on to them. I have the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Heavy Metal Glitter, one of my favorite glitter liners ever. Holding on to this for sure. And then I have this duo from Touch and Soul. It's my favorite mauve glitter. One end is like a metal eyeshadow and then the other end is a glitter. So I'm definitely hanging on to this. This is in the shade Lottie, if you guys were wondering. On the theme of glitter, I have a NYX glitter glue and a Too Faced glitter glue. Both of them work amazingly and I have to keep them. Now these drops from Lorac are really going to hurt me to get rid of because my boyfriend got them for me on Christmas a couple years ago. I really hope that they come back this year because I will repurchase them. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but the liquid that is supposed to be in there is actually dried up up so it's a little bit tragic I might try to save one of them with a little bit of fix plus or something but they are very old I believe they are expired so for right now I am going to set them aside to declutter them I don't know if you guys can see but they were really really beautiful products I really loved them a Stila metallic pixie dust I'm gonna hang on to two paint pot products that I have in my life. The one on the right is MAC Painterly and this is from Tarte. This is their lid lock and I haven't tried it yet but it's in the shade Buff and hopefully I like it but these are my only two paint pots so I'm gonna keep them. Let's talk about brow products. I probably will find more but I dug out some that were in this pile over here. And we're going to talk about them first. So I have the new Foolproof Brow Powder Duo. I'm definitely keeping this. Benefit Brow Zings, which is a pomade and a powder and a brush and tweezers. I love this. Definitely keeping it. This is a brow powder from Maybelline. It's called Brow Drama. It's shaping chalk powder. That doesn't really work with my thick brows, so I am going to be getting rid of it. I have a brow gel from Beauty Junkies. Unfortunately, this is one of the brow gels that feels like hairspray. It really makes your brows crispy, so I will be getting rid of this as well. I have the Gimme Brow from Benefit. It's my favorite tinted brow gel. I love this. I am definitely going to be keeping this. This is a product that I have two backups of that I showed you. Love, love, love this brow gel. I have the Benefit Cabrow. This is the pomade from Benefit. Mine is a little bit dark and it is starting to dry out, but I am going to hold on to this. I think I can revive it a little with a mixing medium type product, but it is a little dark for me right now, so I don't know. I haven't really decided on it, but I really loved it when I first tried it, so I am going to hold on to this. 
I have the Benefit Precisely My Brow. This is my favorite brow pencil from them. I'm definitely holding on to this. I have the Benefit Goof Proof. I also really enjoy this one. It's just not as skinny as the Precisely My Brow, but I will hold on to it and use it up. This is eyebrow gel from the Brow Gal. I haven't tried this yet, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a go and keep it in my collection until I know if I like it or not. One of my favorite pomades ever is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Definitely holding on to this. This is an eyebrow pencil from Eye of Horus. I actually really like it, so I'm going to hold on to this as well. I have another brow product from Eye of Horus, though, that I am going to get rid of. And then this is a Smashbox brow powder. Those loose brow powders are not my thing. So these two I am going to declutter. Of my favorite brow products ever is this Too Faced Chocolate Brownie Eyebrow Pencil. I'm obsessed. I hope that they come out with skinnier versions of this chocolate brownie because this is your traditional brow pencil. I really want a skinnier one with the same chocolate scent because I love doing my brows with this, but I am going to hold on to it. I've been using it kind of a lot lately. My favorite drugstore brow product is the Brow Precise by Maybelline. I do use this quite often. It's one of my favorite brow pencils ever, and it's very, very good, very affordable, so I highly recommend it. Definitely holding on to it. I have this LA Girl brow pencil that I haven't used yet. This is called Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I will give this a try because it is drugstore and I always want to find some drugstore alternatives that I can share with you guys and I haven't opened it yet so I am going to keep this. I have Benefit High Brow which highlights underneath your eyebrows. I really like this so far. I've only tried it for a few weeks but I am liking it so I will hold on to this as well. We have to start working on this pile. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm going to start with potted eyeliners, so gel eyeliners. I'm going to keep all of my Ofra Fix Line gel eyeliners. I have six of them. I really, really enjoy them, especially the black one. Two from Tarte. I have a green and a purple. I'm going to hold on to them, but I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of them. I feel like there's some products that I've just been waiting to have an excuse or an event to use them for. I wish that I had them in other colors, but I will hang on to them. I don't want to waste them. They're probably really good. Next, I have my Holy Grail eyeliner. Mine is almost gone. This is the Tarte Tartist Clay Paint Liner. It's going right back into the drawer. This is my favorite ever. I really need to pick up a backup. I'm going to be getting rid of this random liquid Revlon eyeliner. I think I used it for the 4th of July one year, but it was not a good consistency. I'm going to let go of all of my travel mascaras. I don't use them. I never reach for them. No sense in having them in the drawer. For mini Lorac eye primers, you guys, this eye primer is horrible. It really is. I love Lorac. These came with eyeshadow palettes, but it's horrible. That's why I have so many. I am just going to let go. I have three lash glues. I'm holding on to all of them. I only keep as much as I need. Picking things up as I go, I have this NYX Studio Liquid Liner. I'm getting rid of it. This is crusty and old. I have this All May liquid liner from my friend Liz. It's nostalgic. I need to keep using it. <laughs> she always loved this eyeliner, so I'm going to hold on to this. These are some shadows, I think, from Tarte. They're called the Eye Architect. I'm not into, like, a liquid eyeshadow, so I'm going to be getting rid of both of these. I have a liner from Gerard Cosmetics. I can't remember if I like it or not, so I don't want to get rid of it right away. I have a gold liner from Jordana. I used to use this all the time, but I think it's it's to the point where it's expired so I am going to get rid of this because I do have some other gold and rose gold liners from Tarte that I showed you earlier. Getting rid of a Tarte felt tip liner because it's old. I really loved it though. I'm getting rid of a Jordana Fabu liner. I used to love them but this is definitely dried out and then the blue one is from Jordana as well. It's a liquid liner and it is fairly old so all of these were due to be thrown away anyways so I'm gonna move them out of my collection even though the Tarte one out of all of them makes me really sad because I really liked it but everything expires you guys. These are the LA Girl Fine Line Felt Tip Liners. I talked about the black one in my September favorites. I'm keeping all of them. I really like the formula. I like myself a nice matte eyeliner, and I like felt tip liners. All of these are fairly new, and I like that there's a variety of colors that I have to play with, so I'm going to keep these. 
I have a liquid liner from The Balm and a liquid liner from Sigma. I'm going to keep them both. I love the Sigma one. I haven't played with the Balm one yet, so I do want to play around with them. I need to get on it and start testing some of the products that I have not tested yet. I have the Too Faced liquid liner out of the Nikki Tutorials collab. This did not work on me for some reason, so I'm going to declutter it finally. I think a lot of people really liked it, but for me, it just didn't work. This Bella Pierre gel eyeliner is really, really nice. I got it in a boxy charm. It doesn't budge when you put it in the waterline, which is what I need with my contacts. So I'm keeping this. I'm getting rid of this icy blue from Mally Beauty because I will never use this color. Getting rid of another blue from Jordana and then this purple from Pop Beauty because it is old, so they need to go. I didn't know I had this. This is a mini Marc Jacobs eyeliner. I want to try this as soon as I can because I've heard really great things about their eyeliner. This brow pencil from Nuance Beauty. I did not like this when I tried it, so I'm going to declutter it. I have this rose gold liner from Pixie that I really want to play with, so I'm going to keep this. This right here is from NYX. It's their Wonder Pencil. I really like this for the waterline if you want a nude eyeliner, but mine is really old, so I am going to get rid of it. Thankfully, I have one from Makeup Geek that is newer and I will hold on to. So I have my Makeup Geek pencil eyeliners. I have a nude, a burgundy, and a black. I'm going to keep all three. All of the ones on the right are from LA Girl. The one on the left is from Jordana. I'm keeping all of these because I haven't really used many of them yet. There are some golds, greens, whites, and two blacks. I'm going to keep these because I haven't used them and I think that they're pretty good from what I hear. They might be dupes for higher end liners. I'm not much of a liner person, you guys. That's why I haven't used many of these products but I am going to keep these because I want to give them a chance. I found an eyeliner that I didn't know I owned from Jouer. I tested it out on my hand. It's a beautiful dark purple. I don't know if you guys can even see with this horrible lighting, but it's very creamy and I'm into purples. I am about to review the Kylie Purple palette, so maybe I will whip this out and use it in that video. Yeah, that is a beautiful purple. I like this. So Jouer, I didn't even know you had this. You must have sent it to me, <laughs> but I like this, so I'm keeping it. So that's it for eyeliner. We're moving on to eyeshadow sticks and then mascaras. We're making some progress, you guys. So these two 24-hour Maybelline color tattoos are going to go. I just didn't reach for them. They're very hefty in my collection. I don't have an interest so I'm gonna pass these over to the pile. I have three cream eyeshadows from Jouer that I am going to keep because I haven't tested them on my eyes yet. These are like the OG product of YouTube. These are the NYX jumbo pencils. I want to purchase replacements for these because they are quite old but I use these as my shadow base when I have a unique color that needs a base. So if I need like a base for a purple or an emerald or something I'll use the black or if I have a rose gold or champagne, I'll use the champagne color. And I also use these for Halloween tutorials, so I am going to keep these. They're so messy though. I have two L'Oreal infallible ones. I have an emerald one and a champagne one. I'm getting rid of both of them. I just never reach for these anymore. Some double-ended sticks for brows. These are from Beauty Junkies and the Brow Gal. I'm keeping all of these because sometimes I really like highlighting under the brow and there are a few different colors within these products. Now for mascaras. We're just going to blast through this. It looks like I actually don't have as much as I thought I did, which is good because I try to declutter this as much as I can. There is no sense on ever holding on to old mascara, so I really suggest not doing that. So I'm going to keep my Voluminous Primer. I use this every day. I'm going to keep my Pure Magnetic Fully Charged Mascara. I also use this every day. I'm keeping my Tarte Lifted. This is waterproof and brown, and I wear it to the gym. I love this mascara. It's on its way out though. It's starting to really be almost gone. This is the Tarte Tartist mascara. I love this. This is a tubing mascara, I think. I'm getting rid of it. I don't know what it is, so I don't know why I have it. I have a brand new unopened Jordana Best Lash Extreme. I like this mascara a lot and it's a backup for when I run out of some of my favorites. I'm going to keep this LA Girl Lash Fiber Mascara because I have not tried it yet. We have a Too Faced Better Than Sex, we have a Tarte Light Camera Lashes, and we have a Benefit They're Real. I'm keeping all of these. 
I'm going to give this away. This is the edgiest mascara from the Estee Edit. I think it's a dual-ended mascara. I haven't used it. I haven't even really wanted to, so I'm going to give this away. And I'm going to keep these. I have a Marc Jacobs mascara that I really, really love, an Origins Ginseng mascara I haven't tried yet, and then an Estee Lauder mascara that I haven't tried yet. So no sense in throwing them away if I haven't tried it and the Marc Jacobs is like... <laughs> I don't know, it's old, but it's still in my collection because I'm obsessed with the packaging and I'm a freak. Okay, leave me alone, I'm keeping it. All right, you guys, so here is the declutter pile. And very unfortunately, these are all used products that were touched to my eye, so they all need to be thrown away because that is not sanitary. There's not a real way of sanitizing them, so I apologize if that bothers anybody, but that's the harsh truth. You should not share eye products no matter what. Even if someone is willing to use them, it's like the fastest way to spread bacteria. So. This is my declutter pile and you guys are going to be like shocked because the drawer doesn't really look any better but this is obviously a lot of products. So here is the after. I have tried my best to organize these products. I have my glitters, my glitter glue and glitter liner, mascaras, brow products, eyeliners and I have some of my eyelash glue. And then I have my pencil eyeliners. I have this Makeup Forever setting spray for some reason. Some more glitters, my sponges, my brow products that can't fit in there, and then some mascaras that I haven't tried yet. So hopefully this looks better than the before, but I definitely got rid of a lot. So I am pretty happy with this declutter. So don't forget to check out my declutter of drawer one that I did before this video. If you guys want to check it out, I will have it linked down below and up in a card for you guys. If you enjoy my declutter videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and follow me on my other social media. I'm always hanging out and talking to you guys over there. But I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.